Well, we've been talking to people in New Canaan all day, and whether they knew Jennifer or not, all of which saying that they were relieved, happy to finally see justice for Jennifer. I hope justice is swift. The news of Fotis Dulos' arrest for murder quickly flooded downtown New Canaan. For people who knew Jennifer Dulos, the news came as long-awaited relief. I think this is a step in the right direction, and our prayers are with the family. Pink rocks with the words, Justice for Jennifer, remain in front of local shops in the downtown district. They are a daily reminder to those closely following the investigation, now satisfied to hear the latest developments. We weren't going to forget her. Thank God that, you know, they found out. Absolutely, 100% so relieved. My first thought was, thank God he was arrested. The community was thankful to New Canaan police for their hard work throughout their investigation. The department tweeting one word, justice. That's exactly what it is for her parents, for her children. You know, it's just been a horrific situation. Well, I think that justice is going to be served when he's put away. The arrests of Dulos, Michelle Traconis, and Kent Mawinney are believed to be just the start of closure for a family forever changed. I don't know that the family will ever feel closure, um, but I, hopefully this is a step in healing. It seems like it's been a long wait, and we'll hopefully everyone gets what they need at the end of this and can move on. Her five children at the top of mind for people heartbroken at the thought of them without their mother and now their father. But thank God they're with their grandmother and her friends who adored her. The country school community has really rallied around them and done so much to support them and will continue to. Jennifer's family said in a statement about the arrest, quote, although we are relieved that the wait for the, of these charges is over, for us there is no sense of closure. Nothing can bring Jennifer back. We will miss her every day and will forever mourn her loss. That loss is felt through the community here who say that they will continue to support the family in the coming months. Live in New Canaan, Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News.